Special thanks to Patreon supporter The Green Arrow for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Boeing CH-47D Chinook. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook is an American twin-engine tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter developed by American Rotorcraft Company Vetrol and manufactured by Boeing Vetrol, later known as Boeing Rotorcraft Systems. The CH-47 is among the heaviest lifting, hel lifting western helicopters. Its name, Chinook, is from the Native American Chinook people of modern-day Washington State. The Chinook possesses several means of loading various cargoes, including multiple doors across the fuselage, a wide loading ramp uh, located at the rear of the fuselage, and a total of three external ventral cargo hooks to carry underslung loads. Capable of top speed of 170 knots, upon its introduction to service in 1962, the helicopter was considerably faster than contemporary 1960s utility helicopters and attack helicopters, and is still one of the fastest helicopters in the U.S. inventory. Improved and more powerful versions of the Chinook have been developed since its introduction. One of the most uh, substantial variants to be produced was the CH-47D, which is what we have in front of us, which first entered service in 1960 or 1982. Improvements from the CH-47C standard included upgraded engines, composite rotor blades, a redesigned cockpit to reduce workload, improved and redundant electrical systems and avionics, and the adoption of an advanced flight control system. It remains one of the few aircraft to be developed during the early 1960s, along with the fixed-wing Lockheed C-130 Hercules cargo aircraft that has remained in both production and frontline service for over 50 years. So, yeah, the Chinook, a widely used aircraft. Um, it has been seen service for various nations. Uh, the UK Royal Air Force has some. Uh, the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force, obviously the United States Army, uh, the United States Marine Corps, uh, the Indian Air Force, and several other variant, uh, operators have all used this aircraft it's a uh, a great aircraft it does its job really well and is um again one of those super iconic uh, american you know military vehicles so yeah uh chinook it's been a highly requested vehicle for quite some time so i'm happy to finally deliver for you guys and this aircraft will obviously go good for any vietnam settings any real cold war and even modern day conflicts so it's uh, definitely a well-versed aircraft and can be pretty much put in a lot of different scenarios for you guys' um, build you might be working on. Anyways, um, before we go and take a look at the build, I want to go give a special thanks to Patreon supporter The Green Arrow for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys are, I do feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choosing, uh, depending on what tier you decide to go ahead and subscribe to. It's really uh, helpful for me. It basically you know, supports my work and all the videos that I put out and all that stuff, and it's also cool because you earn a vehicle request of your choosing, again, depending on which tier you decide to subscribe to, so definitely check that out, the link is uh, always in my video descriptions, and um, yeah, so check it out. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into taking a look at this uh, aircraft, so starting off with, we have obviously the uh, fuselage, um, which came out really, really good, we have obviously the cockpit here, um, just some of the instruments and markings, little antennas and stuff that stick out the front and basically those various little details here and there. Uh, we then have the first uh, front rotor blades, so located right here in this section. So pretty straightforward there. As you move back in the fuselage we have obviously the windows that run alongside the sides and we also have the little kind of pods that stick out the side here where the landing gear is attached to. Um, so again, real standard than Chinook look. Uh, this one is also outfitted with flares, so it does have the flare dispenser systems here on the back, and we do have the, you know, jet engines and all that stuff like that uh, to help propel it forward. And then we have the kind of back engine here, which, you know, iconic stand, real tall, and all that stuff over the back. And uh, that's pretty much the aircraft. It's pretty much the same on both sides, besides some of the instruments here on the top here, the fuselage. But for the most part, um, it's pretty much the same on both sides. Now with this aircraft, I only have a in-flight version for you guys to technically make a landed version. This aircraft would sit kind of at a slant. And you can see here the landing gear is a little bit different here. Um, just kind of showing that this aircraft landed would sit at a bit of a slant. So uh, this is really only for the in-flight version. If you really want to convert it, you could easily convert it into a landed version. You could just maybe have like an air wall that comes down and then a block here and have it landed on the ground. But... For accuracy's sake, uh, we're going to be calling this only an in-flight version for you guys. 
Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going ahead and starting off with layer number three. Now if you're completely new to my tutorials, a few things I want to go ahead and uh, mention. For aircraft tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is that since most of the aircraft is symmetrical, whatever we do on one side will be done to the other side. So it saves me a little bit of recording time instead of having to do basically the whole thing uh, all together and I can just show you guys how to build half of it and then leave it up to you guys to copy it over in between layers. It's pretty straightforward and once we get through the first few layers it will start to make a little bit more sense and it overall really isn't that difficult. Um, also, um, this is only for the in-flight version as I mentioned early on in the video so do take that into account. Um, you could obviously modify this to make it landed if you guys want to. Just note that if you want to modify it to make it landed you will need to make sure you build this up a total of three blocks off the ground. So we have two blocks of space and it's on that third layer up from the ground level is where you want this uh, to be seated or this layer here. And um, yeah, with that, uh, we're pretty much good to go ahead and get started. Now, as I mentioned, this is layer three we are starting with. And just for you guys that do want to modify this to make it sit on the ground, uh, you will need to have a total of this much space. So two blocks full of space uh, in between the ground level and the bottom of the fuselage here. Um, that's again if you want to modify it but i'm going to be only showing the in-flight version for this tutorial anyways first to go ahead and get started we're starting with layer three uh just because we get a nice better basis for the aircraft established and then we'll move down to layers one and two and add on what we uh need to so to get started we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab followed by a second top slab after it and then we're going to place down a row of what is going to be 10 green terracotta blocks after those 10 green terracotta blocks we're going to place on a mossy cobblestone wall or not a mossy cobblestone wall, a stone brick wall. And then we want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green terracotta blocks, stone brick wall, and one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks, followed by a dark oak top slab on the end there. After that, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go to the second dark oak top slab, place down a slab at the side, item frame, and a snowball in that item frame like that for the front little lights here. And then going back from that, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair. From the upside down stair, we're going to take our green terracotta and we're going to run it all the way back to where in line with that green terracotta block back there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22 green terracotta blocks. And then a dark oak with top slab on the end here. And just to double check our count here, it should be 22 blocks and it should be in line with this center line right here. So basically, again, quick explanation here, the center line uh, right here is basically the center of our aircraft. We're going to be building the right side. Whatever we do on the right side, you'll do the same thing over to the left side. So basically, the right side is going to look like this side. And then once we complete the right side, then you guys will copy the right side over to this side and you'll see the completed layer for this um, tutorial. So. Anyways, with that out of the way, uh, again, going up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and go to this dark oak top slab, place down a dark oak trap door at the side, and then we want to place down a dark oak top slab after the trap door. From this, we're going to place down a dark oak upside down stair here, facing this direction, and then going back from the stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four upside down stairs. So this stair right here turns into a corner stair. On the side of the corner stair, we're going to place down an item frame and a snowball in the item frame like so. After that, uh, going ahead and continuing back, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 green uh, terracotta blocks back, followed by a dark oak top set on the end. Our next row to the side here, we're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this first green terracotta block, and we also want to place down a zombie head coming off of this dark oak wood upside down stair. From this, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 green terracotta blocks back. We then want to go ahead and place down a end rod, followed by a stone brick wall. And on the side of the stone brick wall, we're going to be placing down a dark oak with sign. And then come off the stone brick wall, we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab. And this right here is going to be where the rear landing gear is going to be kind of connected into the fuselage. After that, going ahead and going back up to this section here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this green terracotta block, and then going back from it, we're going to place down one and two green terracotta blocks back, followed by a green shulker box, and then one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks, a green shulker box, one, two green terracotta, green shulker box, green terracotta, and then a mossy cobblestone wall on the end there. So basically looking at from above, we should have some looks like this here for the base of the helicopter. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. 
nothing too crazy there. And we do have a few details we want to throw on the side here, so real simple. Uh, we're just going to go and grab some dark liquid buttons and a trip bar hook. On this first shoulder box, we're going to place down a trip bar hook, followed by a dark liquid button to both sides. And then going back here to this last green terracotta block on the side, we're going to place down a dark liquid button on the side of that too. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 3 of the build. Looking at it from above, this is what we should have. And uh, pretty straightforward stuff, nothing too crazy. Anyways, that right there is it for layer 3. With that, we'll move on to our next layers, which will be layers 1 and 2. So we're going to drop down from the fuselage and build the whole bottom of it. Alright guys, moving into our next layers, we have layers 1 and 2. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom here of layer 3 and basically adding on to it. To begin with, we're going to be going ahead and going to these first green terracotta blocks here. We're going to place down a lever and make sure the lever is flicked so that it's facing toward the rear of the aircraft. We're really going to place down a end rod coming off the uh, levers, just like that, going back. In between these end rods, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood slabs in that spot right there. And we're going to go and then go to these green terracotta blocks. We're going to place down a lever here on both sides, again, facing toward the rear. With that complete, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a mossy cobblestone wall in this spot right here so it drops down. And then uh, we want to go ahead and take our dark oak wood buttons and we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. So this section right here, this green terracotta block, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood buttons and same thing over here, one and two. We then want to take our dark oak wood buttons we're going to place down a row of dark oak wood buttons that go all the way across here on the bottom here of the fuselage. So just like that. After uh, that's done, we're gonna go ahead and then take our dark liquid buttons and we're gonna go ahead and go all the way back here. We wanna go ahead and go to this point right here and we're gonna go ahead and run a row of buttons all the way across the rear here as well. So from this green terracotta block to this one over there on that side. And we're gonna go ahead and then go from these rows here and we're just gonna run a row of dark liquid buttons all the way along the side here and all the way to the back like so. And we're going to go do the same thing over here as well. So just like this along the side there. And that right there will cover up the detailing here for the bottom. Uh, other things we can do is we can go ahead and go to this section here where we have our stone brick walls. And we can go ahead and place down a lever here to both sides, flick them in toward the inside here, and then place down a end rod in between the levers. Same thing over here. Just like that. And that right there kind of completes our detail there for the bottom. Now for the landing gear itself, the landing gear is fixed, so uh, it doesn't retract at all. Um, so that's one thing to note when um, building this, is that your landing gear will be out at all times. To go ahead and get started with, we're going to go to this green terracotta block here. We're going to place down a stone brick wall that comes down from it. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab on the bottom of it, followed by a block of coal to both sides. On the sides of the block of coal, we're going to place down a dark liquid button, followed by an item frame. And in the item frame, we are going to place down a green stained glass pane like this. And I know for some console versions, uh, you guys are not able to place down item frames on the same block space as a button or a sign. If that's the case, then I would probably just use the item frames um, in that case, or the button, whichever you prefer. Um, so just pick whichever one you like best. And we're going to go and do the same thing over here on this side. So we're going to have our landing gear also over here on this side. And just like that, we have our landing gear here for the front. And so that's all complete there. Now for the rear landing gear, it's a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be using an Arabic stair, a lever, and a dark liquid slab. Or sorry, an Arabic slab. So for this, we're going to go down from this stone brick wall. We're going to place down a Arabic stair. And on the bottom of the stair, we're going to place down a Arabic top slab. We're going to go ahead and go over here and do the same exact thing. So just like this, drop it down. And then on the back of the stair, we're going to place down a lever, and we're going to have the lever flicked upwards like so. And that right there will complete your two back wheels. And with that, you have layers uh, one and two complete, and we have the bottom of the fuselage all detailed and all that stuff for uh, this uh, section of the aircraft. Anyways, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, which will be layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 4. For layer 4, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair coming up from this dark oak wood top slab, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down another brick upside down stair coming off the side of the dark oak wood stair. And then going back from the another brick stair, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 light gray stained glass full blocks. 
From this, we're going to go ahead and go to the first and second light gray stained glass flow block and replace down two light gray stained glass panes there to the side. And we're going to then follow this up by placing down a dark liquid slab and then a dark liquid sign on the side of that slab. From this, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 green terracotta blocks back. After that, uh, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Now, we're going to go and go over from the dark oak wood upside down stair. Uh, we're going to go and place down one, two, three. So basically, that would be a row three there. And then the center one would be in the center green terracotta block. And then we want to place down a row of three of dark oak wood tops. That was on the back there, just like that. Um, so that will basically sum up the back there. Going up to uh, the front again and working our way out to the sides, we want to go ahead and go to this mossy cobblestone wall. And we're going to go ahead and go up one mossy cobblestone wall in this location here. And we also want to take our dark oak wood buttons there and replace now one, two, and three dark oak wood buttons there along the side. With that done, going back to this, uh, this uh, mossy cobblestone wall, I'm losing my train of thought there for a second, we're going to place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks back, followed by a green shulker box, and then one, two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks, shulker box, one, two, green terracotta box, a green shulker box, and then one, two, three, green terracotta blocks, and a mossy cobblestone wall there on the end. With that out of the way, uh, we're going to then take our uh, zombie head, and we're going to place that zombie head here on this mossy cobblestone wall at a very slight angle, or actually, sorry, about a 45 degree angle. And then going back from it, we're going to take our dark oak slabs, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, dark oak wood slabs back and then a zombie head here at a slight angle so we're not going to go exactly 45 but something very slight like that and with that out of the way um, that will pretty much sum up what we need to do for this layer obviously take what we do over here on the right side flip it over to the left side and your layer should look something like this uh, when complete anyways that right there is going to complete uh, layer number four with that let's go ahead and move into layer number five all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number Five. For layer 5, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick slab on top of this dark oak wood upside stair here in the front. And then go back from the slab, we're going to place down a black concrete block, and then a light gray stained glass block. From this, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood slab, coming off this narrow brick slab at the side, and then coming off the slab, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two hand rods going forward. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block going back from the dark oak wood slab, and then a light gray stained glass block behind the black concrete block. Out to the sides here, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls coming off the light gray stained glass block and also this black concrete block. And then coming off the mossy cobblestone wall toward the front of the vehicle, we're going to be going ahead and placing down an item frame with a green terracotta block in the item frame. And then we want to go ahead and take a dark liquid sign and place it down on the side of that mossy cobblestone wall like so. Uh, again, if you're on a console version, uh, just go ahead and put that in the item frame and the item frame only. With that out of the way, uh, go ahead and move to our sides here. We're going to go to the um, mossy cobblestone wall to place down a light gray stained glass block and then a dark oak wood sign on the side of it. We then want to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down one, two, and three green terracotta blocks back, followed by a light gray stained glass block and then one, two, and three green terracotta, light gray stained glass block, one, two, three green terracotta, light gray stained glass block, and one, two, three uh, green terracotta, light gray stained glass block, one, two, three green terracotta, light gray stained glass block, and then one, two, three four and five green terracotta block. So you have this alternating pattern here. You should have a total of five windows, each with a space of three in between them. Uh, in the front here, we have a row of three, and then in the back here, we have a row of five. Uh, going ahead and going to the forward window, we're gonna place down a light gray stained glass block that comes off of it to the side here, followed by a light gray stained glass pane on both sides. And then over here, this back window, we're gonna do the same thing, light gray stained glass block that sticks out, and a light gray stained glass pane to both sides of it as well. We then also want to say, take some dark oak wood buttons and for a bit of decoration on both sides of this window here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood button. We're also going to place down a dark oak wood button on this green terracotta block and one on top of this one right here. And uh, that right there will pretty much sum up the uh, buttons we'll be putting down. So uh, with that, uh, going ahead and moving to the back here. At the end of this row of green terracotta, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, and then we're going to have a row three that will go across and it will connect up to the other side, like so on the back here. We also want to go ahead and place down a narrow brick upside down stair, dark oak wood sign, 
a item frame and a black concrete block and that right there will basically cover both sides here and we're also going to place down a darker button on the side of this green terracotta block like so and once you have that done that's pretty much all we have here for layer five pretty straightforward stuff so far with that let's move on to our next layer layer number six all right guys moving into our next layer we'll be moving into layer number six for layer six to go ahead and get started with here we're going to take a stone button and we're going to place it down on top of this center black concrete block then going back from stone button, we're going to place down one, two, and three, like gray stained glass full blocks. Going to the sides here, we're going to place down another three, like gray stained glass full blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray stained glass pane, followed by a light gray stained glass full block, and then a dark liquid up sound stair directly after it. From this, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. And we're going to stop at 24 green terracotta blocks back. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark liquid up sound stair. Now from this, uh, we're going to go ahead and go from the back of the stair. We're going to place down a row 3 of green terracotta, which will connect us up to our other side, which you guys will be building um, on your own. And then we're going to place down a green terracotta block here in the middle. Dark liquid up sound stair to both sides. And then a dark liquid trap door coming off the green terracotta block and also the two dark liquid stairs. So just like that there on the back of the aircraft. Now with that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then go to this green terracotta block here and we're going to place down another brick up sound stair and just like we did for this, um, basically, this uh, flare uh, launcher here, we're going to place down a dark group sign, item frame, and then a uh, black concrete block in the item frame like so. And we also want to take a dark group button and place it up going up from here. And basically everywhere we have these dark group buttons, we're just going to place down one more button going up. So it's going to be over, all over these locations here. And there's also going to be uh, two dark glue buttons here on these two green terracotta blocks so for the back window. And then moving our way toward the front here, uh, there actually should be a dark glue button here and one also right there on this one. So make sure that this gets translated here to both sides there. Now, uh, when we get over to this section here, we do have some little bit of a difference. So over here on the right side, we're just going to be placing down a row of three of dark liquid buttons across there. However, over to the left side, we're going to place down a dark liquid button on both sides and then a lever there in the middle. So there will be a lever here on the left side, in the left side only, dark liquid buttons on both sides. And uh, that right there will pretty much uh, do it for this layer. Again, pretty simple stuff so far. That right there is it for layer number six. And with that, we'll move into our next layer, layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. For layer 7 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair on top of this light gray stainless block like so in the middle, followed by a light gray stainless block going back from the stair, and then we want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 green terracotta blocks back from that light gray stainless block. When that's done, go ahead and go to the side of the dark liquid stair, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair dark liquid sign on the front of the stair and a zombie head here in the corners just like that at a 45 degree angle. Going back from the narrow brick stair we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block and then back from the light gray stained glass block we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 and then we go ahead and just double check and count here 24 blocks back and then two dark liquid stairs, a daylight detector, and a dark liquid trap door there on the back. After that uh, we're going to go, ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to place down a narrow brick stair here to the side, dark liquid sign on the front of the stair, and we're going to go then take our dark liquid stairs and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Dark liquid stairs back. And then we're going to take our dark group slabs, we're going to place down one and two slabs back, a daylight detector, and a dark group with trap door. Now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, dark group with top slab, which will be coming off of the third stair from last, so right here. We're going to then place down a green terracotta block back from it, followed by a row of one and two 
of dark oak wood upside down stairs actually. So one and two, dark oak wood upside down stairs. And then a acacia wood trapdoor, like so. And that'll be done there to both sides. Now over here on the left side, so you may want to go ahead and build the left side up and have the left side completely done. Um, but once you have the left side complete, you will be placing down a dark oak wood stair on top of this lever, like so. Come off the dark oak wood stair and place down an end rod. A zombie head, come off the dark oak wood stair. Two end rods, zombie head, zombie head, end rod, zombie head, two end rods, and a zombie head like that. And that's going to be on the left side and the left side only. So just make sure that uh, that's put on the proper side. And that right there will wrap up what we have here for layer number seven for the build. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number eight. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number eight. For layer eight, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block over this uh, like racing was blocked here in the middle and we're also going to place down a dark oak wood button coming off the side facing toward the front. From this green terracotta block we're going to place down one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks back followed by one and two dark oak wood slabs. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair facing that direction followed by a dark oak wood slab, a smooth quartz slab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten dark oak wood slabs back. Let me go and double check the count here. And yep, 10 dark oak wood slabs back, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 green terracotta blocks back, like that. And that will finish off your center line here for the fuselage. Now, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a dark oak wood stair, and we're going to go ahead and place down 1 and 2 mossy cobblestone walls, like so. Now, when we get to this point, we do have a difference here on both sides, so pay close attention to what side I'm talking about. We're going to start with the right side here first and what we need to build. For the right side here, we're going to go ahead and place down a total of one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs. We then want to go ahead and follow this up by placing down a nether brick wall, like so, followed by a dark oak wood slab. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood button, followed by a zombie head, like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood trapdoor, a nether brick wall, and then we want to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six. Dark Oak Wood Trapdoor is back in a daylight detector. Now what will be done over here on the left side, and uh, I do advise you guys do it over here on the left side as well, that's why we go at it. Uh, but we're going to place down the Mossy Cobblestone Wall, Dark Oak Wood Stair, two Mossy Cobblestone Walls, same thing over the right side, except right here is where it gets different. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five Dark Oak Wood Trapdoors, Dark Oak Wood Button, Zombie Head like so, Dark Oak Wood Trapdoor, Mossy Cobblestone Wall, and then one, two, three, four, Five and six dark oak wood trap doors back and then our daylight detector so very important there uh, make sure that that is done to both sides there and um, all that so again very important there uh, once that's done after the daylight detector this is where we start to get into the same so whatever we do on the right side now will be done to the left side so everything's the same again the only difference is this area right here Anyways, uh, going ahead and go into the section after the daylight detector. We're going to place down a dark trap door. Make sure it's closed, like so. We're then going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls, two green terracotta blocks, and two mossy cobblestone walls back like that. Going ahead and getting into our engines. Uh, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks on top of these blocks here for the engine that we were building earlier. We're then going to place down a block of iron here on top of that, on top of that uh, acacia wood trap door followed by a dark oak wood button coming off of it and we want to go ahead and then place down a acacia wood trap door closed on both sides of this iron block. From this we're going to, go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides of this green terracotta block. We're really going to place down another brick wall to both sides here, a green terracotta block to both sides of the second one, and a another brick wall here in the corner spaces just like that to both sides. And then a zombie head came off that green terracotta block there toward the front, just like that. And with that all done, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have for this layer. Obviously, take weed on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you guys will be pretty much good to go. Um, but yeah, that right there is it for layer number eight for the build. With that, let's move into our next layer, layer number nine. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number nine. So layer 9 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down an anvil that's going to go on top of this green terracotta block, and then coming off the anvil uh, toward the side facing toward the front, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door, uh, kind of closed like so. After that, going back from the anvil, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, a dark oak wood stair, a nether brick slab, and then a daylight detector like that to go and finish that center line off. Out to the sides here, coming off the anvil, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, 
followed by an item frame coming off the side of the stair, green terror kind of block in the item frame, and a dark liquid sign like that coming off the side of the stair. We also want to go ahead and go to the front of the stair and we're going to place down a dark liquid sign as well. And we're going to follow this up by placing down a second dark liquid stair back, followed by a zombie head, and then a zombie head here at a slight angle, like so. And that right there will basically form our front engine section, like so. Going ahead and uh, moving to our midsection, we do have uh, very few little things we need to add on. And real simply, we're just going to throw a nether brick slab on top of these two nether brick walls. And we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod, come off the slabs facing toward the rear of the uh, aircraft. Once that's done, going back to the section here, we're going to go ahead and work on our engines and our kind of rear engine pillar here. We're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block on top of this one here, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks back. So in total, you have a row of eight here. So just like that. And then we're going to place down a mossy cobbles to wall on the end here. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and go up to the green terracotta block here. We're going to place down a dark oakwood trap door on the side of it, followed by a row of one and two mossy cobblestone walls, one and two green terracotta blocks, and two mossy cobblestone walls directly after that. We then want to place down a nether brick slab on top of this green terracotta block, followed by a green terracotta block going back from the slab, and we're also going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on both sides of this green terracotta block. One thing I forgot to mention was we're also going to have a zombie head come off the side of this green terracotta block. Um, that's something we should have done in uh, one of the previous layers, but just make sure that that is transferred over to both sides. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to then place down a dark liquid slab, nether brick slab, and then we want to place down an acacia wood trap door on the end there to go and finish that off. And that will basically uh, make your two rear engines and those will be pretty much good to go. Also, uh, one thing to add on to the engines here is if you do have access to it uh, on the iron blocks here, we're going to be placing down item frames and in the item frames we're going to place down a black stained glass pane. So uh, just like that and that right there is pretty much it for uh, layer number 9 for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, la layer number 10. I right, guess going ahead and move it into our next layer, we have layer number 10. For layer 10 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to our front engine here on top of the anvil. We're going to place down a stone brick wall, followed by a kind of horseshoe shape, a U shape here of green carpet all the way around like that to go ahead and kind of keep that nice consistent green color there for the top. And that right there is going to complete our front section and we're not going to touch this here until we get into the rotors. Now going ahead and moving to our back section here, uh, we're going to place down a nether brick stair on top of this green terracotta block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green terracotta blocks back and a mossy cobblestone wall on the end here. We're going to go and then go up from the two mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls up, a green terracotta block, a shulker box with the top of the shulker box here to the side, so have it sideways. And we're also going to be placing down two dark oak wood buttons here on the green terracotta block and also the mossy uh, or sorry the sugar box and the green terracotta block we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall like so followed by a dark oak wood stair and then we're going to place down a zombie head here on the side of the mossy cobblestone wall and that right there will basically sum up this layer you're going to take the same thing we did on the right side for the left side and you guys will be good to go that right there is going to finish layer number 10 and with that we'll move into our final layers layers 11 and 12. all right guys going ahead and moving into our uh, final layers here we have layers 11 and 12. For these layers we're just going to be going ahead and finishing off the rear kind of pillar um, slash engine section whatever you really want to call this uh, back portion here but uh yeah and then we'll just have the rotors left to do. Anyways for us to go ahead and get started with here we're going to be placing down a nether brick up down stair on top of this nether brick stair followed by a row of three green terracotta blocks back an anvil a green terracotta block two black concrete blocks and then a mossy cobblestone wall on the end here. Now going out to the sides, we're going to go ahead and take our mossy cobblestone walls and we're going to place down one and two to the sides here like so. We then want to place down a green terracotta block and then after that a green shulker box like so. On the side of the green terracotta block here, we're going to place down a dark group with button. We're then going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall back and then we want to place down a nether brick uh, wall directly after it. After that, going ahead and moving up to layer 12, we're going to place down a green carpet on top of the nether brick upside stair. Two dark oak wood trapdoors back, a dark oak wood slab, a stone brick wall, dark oak wood slab, a daylight detector, and then a dark oak wood trap door. After that, uh, going ahead and go into the sides here and place down a zombie head at a slight angle like so, followed by a dark oak wood slab, and then a zombie head at a slight angle like so. So you can be about 45 degrees the first ones, 
and these ones back here are going to be a little bit more uh, slight, kind of like 30 degree angle, I guess you can say. And um, that right there is what it should look like here on the uh, back uh, tail rotor. And anyways, that right there is going to complete uh, the fuselage here for the aircraft, pink layers uh, 11 and 12. And with that, we're going to go ahead and now move into building the rotors and basically finishing the tutorial. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the rotors. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the rotors. Now for the rotors here, we only have the in-flight version uh, design. We don't have any of the weighted ones since this is meant to be the, the in-flight version of the Chinook only. Um, so we will only be doing the rotors straight out. Um, but if you wanted to, you could modify them to make weighted ones if you really wanted to. Um, but I just feel like there really is no need for the, what we're trying to do here. Um, anyways, we're going to be going ahead and basically building one rotor, um, then the other one is exactly the same, so you'll just take the same design and move it to the back one as you can see here. So for us to go ahead and get started with, um, these rotors are definitely a little intricate, so uh, definitely be paying close attention as we build these because it could be a little confusing um, at some points, and trust me, I'm probably going to get confused <laughs> at some point. So just pay uh, close attention to what we're doing here and uh, we'll definitely get through it. So for building these, I definitely recommend that you have them facing opposite directions from each other. As you can see, this model here has them both facing the same direction, uh, but I definitely think they look better having them facing completely different directions. Um, that's just me personally. Uh, you can obviously do the same thing we're doing here. You can, you know, rotate them around and have them, you know, facing different directions, and it's really easy to do so. Uh, but just throw my little recommendation out there for you guys. Um, anyways, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door on top of this stone brick wall. We then want to place down another brick stair coming off the iron trap door. Facing this direction, and this direction here is going to be where our straight one is going to go. So we're going to have the straight one that's completely straight going that way. So coming off that uh, another brick stair, we're going to go and take our stone brick uh, slabs here, and we're going to place down a row of one and two stone brick slabs going forward. Now from that, we then have a row of another brick, which is going to be in total 13 blocks long. So we're going to grab our another brick slabs. And we're going to go ahead and go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. There are brick slabs forward. On the uh, last slab on the end, or actually, sorry, the second to last slab, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. And on the there brick slab here, the very first one, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Now, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by going down from the there bricks, uh, the wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down a there brick top slab. We want to go ahead and place down a row of six of these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're then going to go ahead and go up, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four half slabs, just like that, for your rotor. And that right there is going to be the one that faces toward the front. After that, um, we're going to go ahead and then go to this side here, and we're going to build the one that goes back at an angle. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and go to this from this iron trapdoor, we're going to place down an air brick stair going this direction. We also want to place down a dark oak wood sign here on the two sides of the stair, like so. And on the back of the stair, we're going to place down a stone button. Now coming off the stair here to the side, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a second stone brick slab directly after it. We then want to take our nether brick slabs, and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten going back at an angle. So we're going to go ahead and go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have ten air brick slabs here at a diagonal like that going across. Now once that's done, we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull on the side of this air brick slab, so right here, and we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull coming off this slab, like so, on the end. Or actually, sorry, my bad. This slab, the second to last one, like so. Now from this point, we're gonna go ahead and drop down with half slabs. Or sorry, top slabs. We're going to go down like this, and in these corners here, we're going to place down that slab. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to go ahead and then go up to uh, basically the half slab level here. We're going to place down one, two, three in that space, just like that. And once you have that done, that's going to do it here for this blade to come out at a nice diagonal angle. Now, our next one here is uh, definitely a little bit more funky. So for this, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this iron trap door. We're going to go off at it, off from it, and angle, and we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, or sorry, another brick stair, just like that. 
Now in the sides here of these iron trap doors, we're going to go ahead and place down with our skeleton skulls like this. And then uh, like we did before, we're going to place down a dark wood sign on the side here of this nerve brick stair and also a stone button coming off of it like so. Now coming off the nerve brick stair, we're going to place down a row two of stone brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down a nerve brick slab. Go ahead and back at an angle again, two nerve brick slabs, nerve brick slab, two nerve brick slabs. And we're going to be repeating this pattern a total of one, two, three, and four times. So where we have two of this pattern, so one, two, so an airbrick slab, two, one, two. So as you can see here, we have the one, one, two, the one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, a total of four times. And then lastly, on the end here, we're just going to place down one. It comes off at an angle like so. Now once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to the two sides of this nerve brick slab here. We're going to place down two with our skeleton skulls like so. We then want to go ahead and also go to this nerve brick slab and we're going to place down with our skeleton skull on this side. Now with that out of the way, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our nerve brick slabs and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, 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 two. And when we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and drop down two top slabs. So we have one, one, two, one, and one, two, like that. And that right there will complete this blade here for the uh, rotors. And all you need to do now is take the same design and copy it over to your tail uh, rotor here, and you'll have basically both of those uh, rotors all complete. Again, I recommend kind of rotating this to have it face in a different direction. It can just be a 90 degree rotation. It could be 180, it could be 270, whatever you want. Uh, but it definitely kind of changes the look of the aircraft. It makes it look a little bit more interesting, at least in my opinion. Anyways, that right there is going to complete my design for the CH-47D uh, in-flight version for the Chinook. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be a link from a sound to build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, with that, again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter, uh, The Green Arrow, for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett204, and I'll see you guys next time.